Once again, the returning winner, the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3, and uh, yeah, I know the Xiaomi that the Xiaomi launched the Redmi Note 4, and the 625 on it was really disappointing for some people. But 625 is not really bad. Believe me, guys, it's just a bit, a tad bit lesser in performance when compared to the 650, but insanely good battery life, guys. So let's just not talk about the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 and let's save it for another video and so let's today uh, on popular request let's look at how to install the AOSCP or the Cypher OS based on Android 7.1.1 on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 and yeah I know that you can see a green reflection out here uh, my parents forced to buy me these specs because I was having power this is Jayadita here from Freaks and Geeks and let's just not waste time and get into business and let's look into this video one more time and yeah okay why did I say that Let's get started. So guys, the first question, are you ready to listen to my voice once again? And I really hope that you are because I'm going to start my tape recorder one more time. So go ahead to the description box below and there will be the link for the latest CM14 and CM14.1 firmware and the ROM and of course the G apps. So download them and store them wherever you prefer. Uh, it can be in your internal storage or it can be your micro SD card. So after you have ensured, I guess, so do, I guess you should know this by now that do ensure that your device is rooted and you have a custom recovery like TWRP recovery installed on your Redmi Note 3. I hope this is done on your device. So after you are done with that, I hope you are on MIUI or in any other ROM, power off it and then just press the volume up button and the power button together. So what this will do is that this will boot your device into TWRP recovery. So let's just wait for the recovery to appear. So as you can see we are into TWRP recovery so the first thing that you need to do is that just hit backup and take a backup of your current OS because you never know guys anything can just go wrong and if it does just come back to TWRP recovery and you can restore your original OS. Once you're up with that just hit backup and hit wipe and go to advanced wipe select Dalvik system data and cache. So once you have selected that just swipe to confirm wipe this will erase everything including your data and your current ROM so just backup anything you need. Then just go back and then just hit install and the first thing that you need to flash to enable VoLTE in this ROM is the CM14 firmware. So links in the description check it for more. So first thing CM14 firmware then we are just gonna select the ROM from wherever we have stored it. For me it's in internal storage in download so as you can see AOS CP. Then we are just gonna select the OpenG apps package as you know. Then just go to root and OpenG apps ARM 64 7.1 Pico select it and just swipe to confirm flash. That's all you need to do and let's just go back and hit reboot and hit system. So now this will boot our device into the newly flashed AOS CP ROM. So let's just boot it up and let's just see and I'm gonna fast forward things from here. So as you can see we are successfully booted into AOS CP ROM. The very first time you need to install your enter your password basically and from the second time let me show you that fingerprint is working in this ROM. So as you can see I just okay I registered this finger. Uh, so as you can see fingerprint is working. Okay so let's just start the overview part shall we because that's what for what you are here right. Okay let's just go into settings and see which version it runs on. Let's just see as you can see Cypher OS, as you can see AOS CP ROM. This the ROM which make the thing that makes this ROM my favorite is that it's exactly like the Pixel OS. So as you can see Android version 7.1.1 so no complaints with that. Cypher OS 3.5.1 we have the latest security patch of January 5th. That's pretty dope. Okay let's just go back. And what else do we have in settings? Okay so we have the additions. Okay so in additions we have status bar customizations. Let's look at that. We have quick pull down, smart pull down, as you know, the thing that we have been seeing in every CM14.1 ROM, I guess. That's pretty much it from status bar. Let's go to quick settings. Battery on tap, Bluetooth on tap, and data on tap, and yeah, stuff is there, guys. If you want these kind of customizations, it's always available in any ROM, right? Let's just go back and let's go to system. 
SEO indicator, nav by animation, screenshot type. That's the thing that I like. I go to partial screenshot, and yeah, let's be just. I hope I can show you. Okay, as you can see, we can have the partial screenshot like just, just like that. That's pretty neat, I would say. Power menu customizations. Okay, this one I like. Let's just add flashlight, and let's just add the search. That's pretty decent. So as you can see, we have the Google search over here now, and flashlight also we have. But the thing that disappoints me with this ROM, I'll be coming to the con section of this ROM, guys. So do stay tuned. Let's just go back and let's look at notifications. Nothing much. We have force expand notifications, heads up, and ticker. Okay, so we do have the customizations for the notification LED. And as you can see, we use custom values, and now we can add our different apps. And for different apps, we can select the different color of notification LED. I think this is a pretty decent customization option. Uh, I think this should be includes in, uh, included in every ROM, basically. So lights with screen on and yeah, notification customization, notification LED customization to be very specific is one of my favorites in this ROM. Let's just go back and let's just see what else do we have over here. Okay, we have buttons. The thing that disappoints me is that we do not have the option for enabling on-screen navigation buttons, guys. Yeah, that's a basic gripe of this ROM. I don't know why they did not include this customization option here. They have everything for the hardware buttons. But the thing that disappoints me is that we do not have anything for the on-screen buttons. Yeah, that's a disappointing feature. Okay. As you can see, we have recent long press and short press app switcher. Everything is there, guys. So this gesture, okay, I'll be showing you in gestures. Let's just go to lock screen. Okay, so we have charging input and tap to sleep anywhere. That's pretty dope. Let's just go back and what else do we have? We have gesture support. As you can see, tap to sleep. Very, very basic gestures, guys. So quick gestures. Let's see what we have over here. As you can see, double snap to open the camera. Let's just try it out. So as you can see, it does open the camera. And this is the default camera app that you get with this ROM. Yeah, I like this camera app. It's not bad. Uh, video recording is working. Let me just show you. The video bug is gone. Okay, let me just show you that the video bug is gone. Let's just go to video. And so as you can see, I am in the video recorder currently. And let me just click it. So as you can see, video recording is working. And let me just stop it. And let's just see. So as you can see, the video was recorded, but for some instance, the camera crashed. But yeah, basic. Uh, it's the bug in the CM 14.1 firmware, as you know, guys. Uh, I have to say, guys, that's pretty much it from settings and. We don't really have anything else. Let's just check out display and yeah, we don't really have anything. When device is in VR, so yeah, we have the VR mode. I don't know why we have the VR mode. Uh, okay, so that's pretty much it from settings, guys. So as I promised, that I will be talking about the gripes. That is the cons of this ROM. So the basic bug that you have in this ROM is the flashlight bug. That's the only bug that I have faced in this ROM. So let me just show you. So you do have the flashlight widget as you can see, but. Uh, flashlight is currently working right now, but sometimes I just want to point this out that sometimes flashlight just doesn't want to turn on. So as you can see, it's properly working right now. So as you can see, now it's not working. But uh, the second time you do it, now it's not working once again. So as you can see, it sometimes does work, but this bug is there. So I just want to. So I hope you enjoyed it and see you in my outro. Okay. So after you saw that entire video, uh, I think the Cypher OS would remind you of much more like the Pixel XL or even the Pixel. So yeah, you can definitely give this ROM a try if you want. Uh, many people requested me for this video, so I did. Uh, did not disappoint them because I have no job. Yeah, I don't have any job right now. And uh, sorry for looking hilarious. I know I am suffering from some kind of feverish disease and. I, in, uh, over that I have to wear these specs so I hope this video was helpful to you you know how it goes right if this video was a tad bit helpful to you I'll appreciate that if you hit that like button smash it break it go crazy on it and uh, subscribe to my channel because believe me the next video is also gonna be on the Mi 5 or the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 and more such videos are of course are gonna come and uh, more videos and people are staring at me you know that how it goes right so more videos on the UU4 they are the Android 1 they are also gonna come so do stay subscribed and if you have not subscribed already then do subscribe to my channel sorry andy bye and okay so yeah um, uh, if this video was helpful to you hit that like button subscribe to my channel and stay a freak and do stay a geek like me nerdy things peace